Muchas gracias. Thank you. Good morning. Thanks to the organizers for the invitation to this key event. I'd also like to congratulate you for this initiative because waste management is difficult both in political terms, logistics terms. In fact, it's one of the greatest challenges for contemporary European society. So the organizers asked me to talk about um, problems in waste management systems in the European context. So this relates to my academic career because I look at technical areas. In fact, Dr. Klaus has already given us a wonderful presentation on these precise technical areas. And problems with regional strategies and environmental impact assessments is the is at is at the core of any waste management strategies. Now Spain, as you may well know, we're going through an operational transformation to 20, the law 21 stroke 213 in terms of planning uh, for public and private projects. So um, we need to define management options and sites. This is a key plank of the alternatives that we need to uh, build for our processes and our systems. So the scope and the analysis of environmental interactions that are in the environmental studies, environmental uh, assessments in technical terms are, uh, is a key area for all our future actions. In fact, the scope of assessment will be a key part of how we're going to work in technical terms, uh, technically viable terms, going into the future. Now, at present in Europe, there are certain limits in the way that we can analyse our technical approaches so that we can have a fully viable environmental assessment of all our projects. And this is, in fact, one of the key reasons for these types of instructions being conditioned by legal uncertainty. There is a problem of the f in the fact that there is a link between planning and the available alternatives for locations and for processes. In fact, this is the Achilles heel of any strategy at present. Mm, in fact, the alternatives for defining and an analysing are demanded in the SAE, that is, that is the Spanish laws 21 stroke 21 2013. And in fact, we are limited to looking at the motives for alternative sorting. So we need to take into account that when we have a, an environmental assessment of the project, we need to have a technical study uh, that is based on multi-criteria multi -criteria so that we can have a um, better alternative, a better alternative that is better suited to the systems that we want to put into place. So we need to look at the environmental sustainability and if this has a negative effect on any kind of environmental assessment then we are going to make it more difficult to comply with legal requirements when we are actually conducting these uh, environmental assessments. Another key area is the fact that um, waste management plans is a problem per se for environmental assessments. Now we see this in Group 8 of Annex 1 of Law 21 slash 2013 for waste management in Spain. Uh, here we see that uh, there is a provision for as many incinerations plants as for landfills. So um, what is happening here is that um, we need to look at infrastructures. In fact, we saw in the presentation of the new waste management plan for the island of Tenerife. And there is another subsection of Annex 1 where we look at these infrastructures or they are linked with the simplified environmental assessment. Therefore, we need 
to look at impact in every kind of action that we need for our main project. We need to have solutions that adapt to the circumstances in every individual case. Therefore, it's not surprising, therefore, that um, we see secondary activities that have a huge impact on main primary activities. So we've seen a key landmark here in legal terms in Europe, and particularly in Spain. We need legal certainty when we set up these facilities. Now, everybody knows that the Environmental Assessment Declaration and the DIA are um, legal restrictions. They are binding legal obligations for the authorities when they create new projects and plans. Therefore, we need to be able to comply with all the different nuances of these laws and nuances that are, are that all these administrative processes contain all the demands and technical considerations too. Well, there's also this particular relevance that we need to look at when we look at information and reporting processes and public participation as well as any kind of amendments which might be ad hoc or substantial amendments that we make to any plans or projects. And next we need to look at the environmental management of our facilities for waste management. So let's look at two different uh, situations. First of all, what we call permitting. We need to obtain the declaration or the environmental impact declaration, and then we need the AAI, which is another permit that we need for any kind of waste or, or even noise pollution. Next, we need to look at management. We need to look at the best use of technologies for the management of all our waste. And there is, according to the directive, a four yearly review that we need to conduct so that we can have an integrated uh, environmental management plan. We also need to have management systems which may or may not be satisfied and these will allow us to rigorously improve all the determining factors in the creation of a well-run plant. And this is all within the framework of environmental responsibility, the, 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 the legal restrictions, part of also Annex 1 of Law 16 stroke 2002 on prevention and control of contamination. We need to also look at various different areas. Uh, section 5 of Annex 1 of Law 16 slash 2002 on prevention and control of pollution. This uh, also looks at facilities for waste treatment in the scope of uh, any kind of integrated permit. And we also need to identify, prevent and limit any kind of consequences caused by any kind of as hazards or accidents. We also need to look at in Annex 3, uh, Section 10 um, of this same law, please remember everybody that the SCA directive will not f enter into force until May 2017. So these are the legal areas that are controlled. And finally, this final permit can be reviewed for reasonable uh, motives. This is contained in Article 5 of Law 16 slash 2012. And finally, we need to look at the technical and, and, and legal restrictions when we want to amend any kind of plan or project. Uh, if we look at the AAI, the promoter has to communicate to the or to authorities whenever they want to change their plan. There are criteria. For example, the size, production of the facility, natural resources used therein, uh, water, energy, consumption, volume, weight, types of waste generated, quality and capacity to regenerate uh, natural resources, the geographic areas that might be affected, the level of uh, pollution, the risk of accident and the cooperation or, 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 or the uh, production of hazardous substances. So um, we need to look at this and we want, if we want to modify the environmental assessment in our um, plans, we therefore need to look at every single legal landmark when we make public use of these facilities. Thank you very much. Thank you.